This is Jeremiah 4 and verse 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. <laughs> First and foremost, giving all praise, honor and glory to the heavenly father. And his only begotten son, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakaha Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy shalom to you, brothers, that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. All right. So we, I'm going to bring this, you know, this, uh, I, I'm going to say it. This epistle won't be too long. Okay. But uh, the other day, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, or the day before, wh whenever. Okay. I was doing another lesson and uh, I heard on my uh, on my daughter's TV, that guy, uh, what's his name? It used to formerly the advice show. I think his name was Phil. OK, uh, now it's like the African diaspora or whatever. And that's basically when I stopped watching because, you know, I used to I like, you know, I, I, I like the brother. I, you know, I thought he was all right. Now, that being said, he's. He's he's all about this African thing. And, you know, he thinks we we Africans and all that. But uh, that's furthest from the truth. The, the truth is in the Bible. That's what he needs to be getting into and reading. Now, uh, he's had uh, uh, the Bishop Nate from IUIC on his platform, I think, two or three times. OK, so, you know, basically, this is the importance of teaching the truth, the 100 percent truth. OK, it's, 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 it's extremely important to give out the correct information, not your own private interpretation, you know, knowing and preaching the, the names of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, all right, and telling the 100% truth and not doing it for money, not doing it for hire, not making a covenant with the damn devil, which in fact is the so called white man Esau, Edom, okay, but all truth and sincerity. There's no other excuses for it. Now, that being said, I'm gonna say this. That uh, that dude, Phil, he's I mean, he's heard the truth before, you know, and I'm pretty sure he's you know, I mean, he's had uh, Hebrew Israelites on his platform, but I'm pretty sure, you know, he says he travels or whatever that he's ran into Hebrew Israelites. As a matter of fact, I've uh, years ago, I commented on his comment board. All right. But Jake wants to do everything. That's why I read this scripture. Jeremiah four and verse twenty two. Jake don't want to hear the, the, the real 100% truth. Okay? Now, he'll have Nate on his show, but he won't have nobody else. Because why? Because Nate is, uh, he's, he's slick, man. All right? You just got to be honest. He's slippery. That dude is slick. All right? He it basically, it's, it's like a, you know, he's, 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 he's like a, a regular, he's like a church. A regular, you know, regular Christianity church with a spin, just a, a spin. All right? But they, they teach. They teach, you know, most of the truth. I just got to be honest. And he knows the scriptures. He knows them. All right. So let's go here. I'm going to play just a little bit of this. Because when I, oh, it's 144. Let's go. Woo. I love it. I love it. 144,000. It's a remnant saved, man. That's what's up. All right. I'm going to play just a bit of his video here. And I hope it's going to come through. And if it doesn't come through, then I'll just play, you know, this whole clip at the beginning because um, I'm wanting to sort of, you know, explain what he's trying to go into here. So let's without further ado, let's get it. All right. So listen what this brother has to say. He's talking about a Bible from the 15th century. The binding, book binding in Ethiopia. The cover, wooden board cover, you know. As you see, everything is made at home. So, this is 15th century manuscripts. Sometimes, you know, it's uh, amazing that, you know, people in the 15th century. I just saw something that I missed. I think that was paleo right there. Let's go back. That's what it looked like. Let's examine that. No, it's not paleo Hebrew. All right, Salakia. Let's just play this. And I'm going to be pausing it. Where is they, uh, you know, aware of color? Oh. 
Now, as you can see, as that brother playing that, everybody in there is black, aren't they? Saints. Got to address that. See, this, again, this is the importance of, of teaching the truth 100% and knowing the truth. This black and this white thing is all set up. It's all made up. Remember Bacon's Rebellion, okay? Now, I'm, and I learned this from the Elder Malcolm. So let's go ahead and go here. All right. Here we go. All right. Let's go on back to the top. Inventing black and white because it was an invention in the 1600s and 1680 something, I believe. 83 or 82. Anyway, learn how Bacon's Rebellion became a turning point for the way the laws of colonial Virginia in Virginia, right? Distinguish people of different races in the Bible. See, that's it, again, it's very important to know what you're talking about. If you're going to say something, you know, when he changed his name to African diaspora, I'm like, oh, boy, Africa is named after a so-called a, a so-called white man. That's why we say so-called. OK, which, in fact, is Esau Edom, but was named after a, 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 a Edomite man. Leo Scipio Africanus. Same with the uh, with the uh, so-called Americas and Asia. And Europe is in Asia. Come on, y'all. Okay? They just painted it a different color. This is crazy. All right? Race, the power of illusion, the story we tell. The second episode in three-part series, I see, Race, the power of illusion, blah, 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 blah. Let's go. In Virginia in the 1600s, Anthony Johnson secured his freedom from indentured servitude and uh, slavery. Okay? Let's, you know, let's just, the, Esau plays with words. I'm going into this just to, to prove to you and keep we got to keep reiterating this black people, black people. Look the word up. Look up black. Look up white. You'll understand. See, the Israelites are really white. White means pure. Black means everything, you know, dirty, nasty, uh, 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 mean, evil. Uh, all the uh, adjectives you can come up with. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I say slavery acquired land and became a respected member of his community, you see, Elizabeth Key successfully appealed to the colony legal system. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's, uh, his legal system, he, the laws he makes up, mischief by law, all that, man. And, and none of it's according to the Bible. That's the whole point. That's the whole point of this lesson right here. All the answers and everything you need to know is written in the scriptures. Did it not say, is, uh, is, uh, the Bible say, all the things that are written are written aforetime for our learning so we can learn and become better each and every day. See that? And become better each and every day. My phone had to chime on that one. I don't, let's see, let's see. Had been wrongfully enslaved. Let's say, I thought it was indentured servitude. Let's read it again. All right, called the colonies. Elizabeth Keys successfully appealed to the colony's legal system to set her free after after she had been wrongfully enslaved. Well, there is no such thing as wrongfully enslaved. It's a part of the curses. All right. By the 1700s, the laws and customs of Virginia had begun to distinguish black people from white people. What what this really is, is distinguish what Israelites from Edomites. See that none of that none of that was going on uh, prior to the 1600s, 1680 something. Okay, so that's the first thing. Let's go back. Yeah, yeah, there, there we are. All right, let me pause that. And I hope this is coming through. I hope you can hear what he's saying. All right, let's keep going. Even the virgin is painted black. You know. Today, even today, we don't have, you don't find such paintings in churches, in, not, always, you know, a bright color, not black color. So, uh, it has to be studied very, very well, you know, this type of documents. Look, even the evangelist, this is Matthew, you know, and the harag or the decorations, all this, you know. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um okay, so... You know, I don't know who this this brother is or whatever. I mean, the first thing you notice, you know, if you know anything about the Bible and you can grow a beard, huh? If you can grow a beard, you will have a beard. You will you will hearken to the uh, the laws of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua. He told us not to mar our beards and not to be shaving your head all bald and shiny like a damn milk dud. Okay, 
So again, if, if any of these people knew anything about the Bible, they would do so. Now, that being said, I, I'm, I'm going to continue with this lesson. But that being said, again, Elder Malcolm, I was watching a video he did the other day. And it was a TikTok video that he uh, he put up in his epistle. And uh, there was it was some uh, it was some brother, some Jake was talking about how, uh, you know, Africans, uh, Hamites. And would you say Hamites? Because you already know what it is. Cannot grow beards. I wonder why they cannot grow beards. Now, we know some brothers, you know, uh, 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 some Jakes can't grow beards either. It's just it is how it is or or just a little peach fuzz or whatever, you know. So why don't you how about Shimmy I was shy? But and then he said also the, uh, the African women, what they could not grow what? Afros. You know, but they call us Af African Americans. That's where Afro that's, is short for it's crazy. Let's keep going. And, and, and that and that was uh, the video I originally why I did this stream today. But let's 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 look at some things, right? Let, let's really look at it. Let's think about it. I want to show something else to you real quick about that now <laughs> let's put this image up on the screen here now this image that you're looking at on the screen i actually took this picture while i was in ethiopia at uh king johannes's castle back in 2018 this is why it's very important to travel ladies and gentlemen it's important because you would never discover the truth of anything in babylon Woo! did you hear what he just said it's important to travel, which is not really important to travel. I mean, if you can, you know, that, that's good. If you can go see some of these landmarks, you know, or, or uh, uh, some of the museums that show the, uh, the, the Russian icons. Uh-huh. You know, or, or uh, the Bat Creek Stone or, you know, brothers have done that. Uh, great Millstone brothers have done that. Uh, the, uh, the elder down in Mississippi. You know, he went, I remember he did a video about, I forget uh, where he was at. It was one of those stones that was, you know, he broke down the, the Paleo Hebrew and all that. It was an excellent video. Go, go watch that. Okay? But uh, the, the truth is contained in the Bible, not because you travel. The truth has to be given to you freely, as the scripture said. Now, let's go here. Okay? Again, I, I, I wasn't going to make this too long. The truth shall what? Make you free. Let's go back. Ooh, let's, let's read this first. I got to read this first. Yeah, first Maccabees three and verse forty eight. What do they do? They laid open the book. Let's go back and read this first. For uh, verse forty six. Wherefore the Israelites assembled themselves together, and came to uh, Mashpah, over against Jerusalem. For, for in Mashpah was the place where they prayed aforetime in Israel. All right, verse forty seven. Then they fasted that day and put on sackcloth and cast ashes. Upon their heads and rent their clothes, right? And what does verse forty eight say? You you saw in that that uh, that Bible from the fifteen hundreds. That was a big old Bible. There had the pictures and all. It's absolutely beautiful. It showed uh you know uh, uh Saint Matthew, you know the uh uh you know uh Mary, you know it showed it, and that's what they look like. Now, the salvation pertain to what you look like? Hell no, not at all. It doesn't. His heritage is as a speckled bird. We've been scattered to the four corners of the earth. So we go, hey, man, the men bring back what? The Israelites. So we're going to come looking like every other nation on the planet. And that's a fact. That's You, you got to read the scriptures. That's why the scriptures precisely told us what? Judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. It also told us, what, did it, what else did it tell us? It told us to what? Search the spirit. Try the spirit. Whether they are of the house of Israel. That's a fact. Verse 48. And lay open the book. Who laid open the book? We're going to read it. And lay open the book of the law wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. That, that, why you think you got Cesare all over the place? And a whole bunch of Jakes up under the spell of a stringy haired, uh, 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 not, not, not a pit boy, a damn golden retriever, man. You know, it, the damn devil. Cesare, Cesare was a real, a real person. And, you know, he's back in there a lot, too. It said that it could be a part of that. Uh, was it Rockefeller Rothschild? Red, Red Shield. I think it was a, a Rothschilds. OK, he back too. All right. They lay open the book and sought to pick the likeness of their images. Iconoclasm. I think I pulled that up or did I not? No, let's get to let's get iconoclasm. 
Okay. Fuck you. Here we go. Iconoclasm. The action of attacking or adversely rejecting cherished beliefs and in what institutions Slokia. You know what? Uh, in institutions or established values and practices. All right. Uh, let's see, the second one is this. The rejection or destruction of religious images as uh, heretical to the doctrine of iconoclast. And they did that. The scripture told you right there in First Maccabees that the what they heathen lay open the book and sought to paint the likeness of their images. Now, now today, with the uh, modern technology, what do you have? Movies, motion pictures. I call them motion pictures, right? Because that's what they are. It's either 60 frames per second, which is basically 60 pictures per second, 100 or 44 or whatever, 120. All right. They're called motion pictures. And all these movies, what the gods of Egypt um, in that movie, 300, they screwed, they screwed that up. Uh, 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 Charlton Heston talking about he Moses. It's all over the place, man. Okay. And to you, hotel ninjas, man, y'all are just way the hell off. Y'all are way off. Jabari's and all, all of y'all, y'all way off. And if you rubbing shoulders and holding hands with them fools, and yeah, I call them fools, then you're going you gonna to fall into a damn ditch also. Okay? So let's go back. So like you. Let's play some more of this. See that? Okay. Now, what he said, African king. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm not sure who that is. I forget who he said it was. Could have been an African king. Probably was. All right. But that's neither here nor there because I can't. I can't make heads or tails of that. I don't even know who the hell that who the hell that is or whatever. But who is kneeling before this? This uh, it could be a Hamite. I don't know. But who's kneeling before? These are uh, dark skinned individuals. E Edomites. What does what does the scripture tell you? What what do the Edomites do? They go in, they conquer lands, they take, they rob, steal, kill, murder. You know, do uh, they go in? They steal resources. It's it's happened time and time again. It happened with uh, Iraq. I mean, uh, Afghanistan. Every damn where. Uh, uh, port rich port. I mean, all over the place. The whole earth, man. Micah two and verse one is they covet fields and take them. By violence, they came over to uh, 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 this land, uh, a.k.a. America, Babylon. He said Babylon. Now, where'd you learn that from, Phil? You know, you got to be honest with yourself. If you know that much about what's going on and, and, and this place is, in fact, Babylon, then you should be getting more into the Bible. But it's up to you. How about some y'all to wake you up? You know, it, it, that's and that's what's up. But anyway, you got kneeling before them a bunch of Edomites. And what are they going to do? Uh oh. Oh, get, there we go. See, he he be going off just in his own thoughts, even though we the oldest people. No, 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 we're not the oldest people. Oh uh, well, I mean, uh, it, it, we are, but we're not. Okay. When the nations were established, you know, uh, let's let's go back. Let's go back to uh, let's we'll go back to Cain and Abel. All right, we uh, we we could go back to you know the Adamites. All right, but let's just let's just fancy this. Let's go back to Cain and Abel. Right, all right. Cain slew Abel. Right. So so how was the the salvation or or, or the promises carried on? It was through Seth. Right, and then you go. Uh, then you go to, uh, to, to Genesis, you know, the beginning of the book. All right. And what does it say? When Esau and Jacob were born, man, that that really established the 12 tribes, the Israelites. OK, yeah, three classifications of men. Right. Sons of God, uh, the Israelites and uh, sons of men. All right. So the Israelites came out of the loin, loins, the loin of uh, uh, Jacob, which, in fact, his name was changed to Yasharala. All right. So that's that. Okay. People on the planet. Then why are they coming and bowing before this king here? Now, let me give you the backstory behind this picture. 
So they came and they said that they were missionaries. You know, that was that was the They speak sweetly with their lips, but behind their back they were drawn swords. Let's go here. I'm almost done with this. Again, I wasn't going to make it too long anyway. Deuteronomy 33 and verse 29. Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people saved by the Lord Yahweh. The shield of thy help. That's, the, that's our shield. This is where the truth is. You know, hey, if, come on, Phil. Come up some kind of way, man. You know, but it's not up to you. It's not up to me. It's up to us just to teach you. If you know, you know, you're going to have no cloak for your sins. Now, I mean... Here, you know, you know, it's Babylon, you know, that uh, it, right there in the Bible. That's why he did this. His I was going to say lesson, but his uh, podcast, a live stream or whatever. OK, he said this man got a Bible and, and everybody in there was black. Everybody in there was black. Well, that's just that's the way it was. OK, the leprosy is what a curse. OK, that's the way it was. But now it's a speckled bird. All right. Let's just keep going. All right, and who is the sword of thy ex the, the what? The sword of thy excellency. And thine enemies shall be found liars. Do you hear that? What? They shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. So Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. The scripture goes into it and tells you, I have seen servants upon horses. What, what do these Edomites do? They go in and they conquer lands and they take what they want and they leave it in shambles. Okay, let's go back. That's right. Now, he keeps saying the J word and, and the C word, the JC word, right? He keeps saying that because he doesn't know the names. Again, this is the, this is the importance of teaching the truth. Now, Bishop Nate, he knows what the names are. They still, matter of fact, it was a Deacon ASAP. You know, he slipped up, said it the other, uh, the other day on one of his one of their lessons or whatever. You know, Nate taught, he taught, matter of fact, when he, when he taught the names of Yahweh Bashim it was it was great. I mean, he broke it down and taught it so eloquently. It was beautiful, you know? But this is what happens when you got a muzzle on called a 501c3. You made a covenant with the devil, you know? And we hope you repent, man. I'm just saying. Brothers have had visions and dreams about that. All right? Let's get a scripture. Don't quit running my damn mouth. Your enemies shall be found liars. All right. You see, they lay open the book. I already got that, didn't I? Yes, I sure did. All right. There was a couple other things I wanted to get. So lucky. Wow. John 8 and verse 32. And you shall know the truth. What are you? Well, he was talking about the truth. You got to travel to see the truth. Uh, I go to Ethiopia. What the scripture said, ye Ethiopians shall be slain by my sword. But what did it also say? That are are not the children like like an unto the Ethiopians? Why did he say that? Why did he say that? Okay. John eight and verse thirty one. Then said Hamashiach Yahweh to those Yahweh, all right, which believe in him. What? Which believe in him? And if you notice the way he's saying the J word, it was sort of like condescending. Okay, because I'm not sure if he's on the fence. If he really truly believes. Or, you know, he's just he just got that African juice up in him, man. He just, you know, and, and the, you, you whoo, them Hamites are bugged out, man, bugged out. Did you see the video where they just picked up a dead monkey, a dead a monkey that died, an animal that died of itself, which you're not supposed to be eating no damn monkey anyway, you know, and they just picked it up and just started eating it. it just, I mean, straight up biting and taking bites off of the head. They got that. Uh, they they look. They got the different bone structure. We're not the same people, man. We're not the same people. All right. This is red letters. If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. See that? If you want continue in my word again, he's heard the word before. 
He's going to have no cloak for his sins. He's heard the word. OK, and I, and I could you know, I, I would beg to say that he's actually heard. He probably even heard great millstone, man. I'm just saying. All right. Verse 32. And ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Where's the truth contained in the Bible? That's where the truth is contained in the Bible. OK. What are they? What did I want out of this? Second edges. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Mm, give me one moment. Second Ezra 6 and verse 25. Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape. Escape what? All the things that are coming upon this earth. You're not going to be able to skate away and run some uh, bunker or you, you're not getting away from it. All right. And, and what? And see my salvation and salvation pertains nothing to how you look. Nothing. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profiteth nothing. All right. And the end of your world. Woo. What in the end of your world? Let's go here. Let's go here. The second Ezra's. Let's see. Let's just type it in like this. The Esau is the end. End of the world. Okay. And what Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. This is beautiful. Second Ezra 6 and verse 9. For Esau, the so-called white man, is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. He's the one that, that does what? He's the one that does what? Goes around conquering, to, uh, come, comes to you uh, uh, in uh, sheep's clothing. But behind your back, he was drawing swords. His, his, his words were smoother than butter. Never trust thine enemy. Don't sit him by thee. All these things are in the Bible. You would know this if you'd read it. That's what he does. Okay. We'll go back to that in a minute. Let's read it again. Second Ezra 6 and verse 25. Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation and the end of your world. Uh oh. And the what? The end of your world. Verse 26. And the men that are received shall see it who have not tasted death from their birth. Do you hear that? It'd be some of you that will not see death. You hover about the Zama part of that number. That's the ones that get beamed up on the chariots, not some uh, uh, damn cruise liner. No, y'all are bugged out. Y'all crazy. All right. And not tasted death from their birth and the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed. Woo. And turn into another meaning. Verse 27, for evil shall be put out. What? Evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. Some of, uh, part of that deceit is what? You're black and you're African. That's it. You're black and you're African. And all your history started in, in uh, what was it, 1400s. And, and that's it. That's deceitful, man. You, you, uh, they deceivers. The, the devil. Verse 28, as for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth that has been so long without fruit shall be declared. The whole earth has heard this word. Our line, his line has gone out to the four corners of the earth. And then the end shall come. The gospel shall be preached. The truth, Christianity has been out there for I don't know how many damn thousands of years. And it's still, and what, what'd you learn when you was up in the church, Jake? What'd you, what'd you learn from them with these damn hotep ninjas, man? What did you learn from uh, 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 Islam? Nothing. You learned how to be a good step and fetching dummy. The Bible is where the truth is at. Okay? That's where the truth is right there. Uh oh, where did he learn that from? Huh? Where, where did he learn all the proper books? What does he mean by that? He's probably talking about the Apocrypha, which was already in the 1611. You see that? That's probably what he's talking about. So don't let don't let these Jakes, you know, don't let these Jakes try to try to fool you, man. They know they know more than what they let on. They know more than what they let. Let's see. Let's see. Ye Ethiopians. 
Shall be, I spelled that wrong. Slakia. Shall be slain. Okay. Did I spell that wrong? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. All right. Zephaniah 2 and verse 12. Let's see if I want to go back. Mm -hmm. Verse 11. All right. The Lord Yahweh will be terrible unto them. For he will fan, uh, vanish all the, uh, what vanish all the gods of the earth, right? All the idols, all, everything gonna get cast down. Babylon gonna get towed up from the flow up and leave them neither root nor branch. And men shall worship him, everyone from his place, even all the isles of the heathen. I said all of them. Scripture said remnant, nephew, and, and all of them. Each and every one of them going into captivity. Verse 12. Ye Ethiopians also, ye shall be slain by my sword. You're not going to, you, man, come on, man. You're not going to hear Nate read him no scripture like that. You see that? You're not going, you're not going to hear. You're not going to hear. He, he, he might blow a damn top. He, his face might turn red like Esau Edom and the top of his head blow off like a, like a damn rocket ship. Oh, that's in the Bible. I know I don't believe it now. See, that's where the truth is at. That's where the truth is at right there. See, verse 13. And he will stretch out his hand against the north and destroy Assyria. Woo. See that? And will make Nineveh a desolation. What is, what is one of the, another one of the spiritual names for Babylon? America is what? It's Nineveh. Oh, my goodness. That is beautiful. Call her lawyer. How about Shim Yahweh Shah? This place is getting ready to get obliterated. Woo! And dry like a wilderness. This is the lake of fire. The hell. You going to hell. <laughs> oh, man. That hell, doctor. Man, what is wrong with you? You got to be kidding me. You going to hell. Oh, man. Christian. Christian. Uh, that would be the first. You going to hell. Uh, mm -mm. They were take they took away from it because it wasn't for them in the first place. Uh, uh, was it Psalms one forty seven? Let's, well, let's go get it. Let's go get it. Psalms one forty seven. Here, I just I don't have to open any more tabs. Let's see Psalms. Let's see Psalms. Psalms. What? What? I got big fat fingers. One forty-seven, verse nineteen. Get it in the KJV. All right, let's go here. Yeah, through uh, through twenty. That's that's what I wanted anyway. Psalms one forty-seven, nineteen, uh, nineteen through twenty. Look at that. Putting them lessons up. Let's go. Teach and preach, man. This is beautiful. He showeth his word unto Jacob. See, it's all here in the scripture. All you gotta do is read it. He showeth his word unto Jacob, which in, which in fact, what is the progenitor of the 12 tribes of Israel? His statutes and his judgment unto Israel, people before it's a place. Verse 20, he have not dealt so with any nation. As for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Yahweh. Now, that being said, that's why they took stuff out. That's why they had the, what, the Bible destruction group. That's why Bacon's rebellion. And they said, OK, we got to make these people black and these people and, 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 and these people white. You know, not to mention just the verbiage of it. OK, we, we got to do this. We got to classify uh, 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 the Native Americans. Get, we got to classify the Gadites as uh, as Negroes so we can further uh, uh, oppress them and steal the land that was, you know, that they came to uh, mainly a year and a half, three, a three years round trip. That's in the Bible, too. You got Jake's talking about we was always black people was always here. Black people was always here in the in the uh and and, and Mexicans are, are uh, Oriental. <sighs> Y'all bugged the hell out, man. Bugged out. All right. <laughs> See, man, why? I had to stop it there.
Hmm. Every last one of them that allowed them in, they were colonized. Now let's really look at this image here. Now hold on now. See, you got to understand, man. Esau, Edom, the, the wicked, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So, you know, he's, he's everywhere, man. Esau, Edom is all over the place. The whole earth was given into the hand of the wicked. That's why Ethiopia is in damn shambles. Everything's in shambles. When the wicked are in a, uh, uh, let's go there. You know, I, I, you know, I'm probably going to close out on that one because I'm beating a dead horse. You can clearly see he doesn't understand what's going on with a name like an African diaspora channel. Oh my goodness. Let's see when the wicked are in mm, ruler rulership i don't know i don't know the scripture right off the top of my head i just don't right now you see there it is proverbs okay just being honest they who use proverbs proverbs 29 verse 2 when the righteous are in authority who's the righteous the israelites okay when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice but when the wicked beareth rule the people mourn everybody walking around happy right now nope Everybody's in mourning. The trees are in mourning. The animals, the air, the water, the food, everything's in shambles. And it's getting ready to get destroyed. So, Phil, man, hey, if you happen to if you happen to listen to this, repent before it's too late. Alongside of anybody else who hasn't fully uh, 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 renewed their mind through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakaha, Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone of whom I learn from daily. Healthy shalom to you, brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Let's go. Chant this place down every chance you get. Kwam Yasharala and wa a Bible ball. Boom. Shalom.